Kenna and welcome back to Pink Bubbles. So today we are talking about the huge craze that is was photo shoot competitions. Disclaimer, I have been in four such photo shoot competitions within the span of like three years. Two of them were in my first few months on AGTube. If you scroll down far enough on this channel, back to fall 2015, you will see that I was a part of two of them. I was part of the Miss AG2 pageant and I was a part of AG Fandom Modeling. Recently, I was a part of two as well. I was a part of the one hosted by Dollywood Studios and I was part of the one hosted by Chicken Biscuit AG. These all kind of had different themes. They were obviously very, very different from each other. And I will definitely tell you, I have a preference for how they are run and What's going on now is not that. My experience with them has been wildly different. Maybe it's because it was several years apart. I was a very, very different person between the two of them, two different types, but I will just briefly explain what both types are. The more recent one, everyone should know, are all modeled after a creative idea. I like it. It's just everyone I feel is giving way too much credit to being like, the new thing because it's just not and I don't want to be like hating on it because I'm not I don't hate these competitions I think it's really cool that people are able to grow with their skills and photography through these so the newer ones how they're run is one channel usually a pretty big channel of a thousand to twenty thousand or more subscribers host this competition and they will say hey Email me all of your photos, give me your best photos, it has to have one main doll in them, and I will pick the top ten, and we will just go from there. So each week you get a new theme and you have to take these photos. And it gets very, very competitive very, very quickly, especially with the bigger accounts, people just like hate that. Like, they're like, really? I should have made it? Like, it gets a big deal really fast. I was so shocked by that. And then the older ones, they would make an entire channel. Just a channel. This is back when like collab channels were a huge thing. Gosh, I sound so old. Like, collab channels, like you would make channels for everything. Like it wasn't about getting all the subscribers. It was just channels. Like, huh, I want to do this thing. I'll make an entire channel for it. These channels started popping up where it was just photography competitions. That's all it was. It was one channel dedicated to one photography competition. And how it would work is people would send in their submissions just like they do now. It'd still be one main doll, still be a new theme each week, but it wasn't as highly competitive. It was before AGIG blew up into- But you would turn in entire photo shoots. So you had to be as creative as you could be, and I really loved that. I was a part of two. If you scroll far enough down on my channel, I, what my submissions always were, both of mine never officially ended. It was kind of the end of that era, but it, I never remember it becoming highly competitive. You knew who was involved, but everyone was very, very kind about it. There was no Instagram involved at all. Maybe that was a big part of it. So at the end of each season, you would get down, like each person, each week, one or two people would be eliminated. I think you could start out with like 20 something people. Like you could start out with so many more people. Then at the end, whoever won would be the host of the next season. And one of the hosts from the current season would work with them to make sure everything was going smoothly. I don't know how well that worked out in practicality. So the main, main, main differences between these two are one is much more kinder, less competitive, but the photos were not as good. It had a full photo shoot so you didn't really have time and these videos would have no criticism. So that means you really didn't get constructive criticism but you also didn't get berated because you had one fly away. Like, and it was an ongoing thing. There was an entire channel to it. It's a very, very different, but the concept is still the same. It's photography competition with your dolls. And then presently it's on a channel that still does other things. It's not their main focus of that specific channel. It's very, very frequent. It's every week. You get a new video, you get an update, you get criticism. I think it's much more easy to rig these because it's like, well, it's my opinion, I'm the only one in charge of this. I'm just one person. Rather than two people working together, emailing back and forth, they're not people that have like known each other for years, which I think helps with making it a little more honest, but I don't think anyone's really done a bad job at like, like they're rigging everything. These are very, very professional. 
for AGTube photos. They're highly edited. It feels like you just took Instagram and brought it to YouTube, which I really hate personally, but I know some people really like that. I personally believe that the older ones were done better, created much more of a community feel rather than tearing the community apart. And when I say tearing the community apart, I'm not really pointing fingers at anyone specifically. Like I do know the bigger the channel you are, the more likely it is to happen. But it's not your fault, like as a channel owner that's happening, it's your viewers. But it's not even all of your viewers, it's like this one 10% section of them. With the last two that I did, well I did them at the same time, which was a terrible idea. I Please, if you're going to do any of them, don't do two at the same time. You can only focus on one. So I focused on one of them more than the other. And I did come out with some photos that I was really very happy with, very proud of. Um, so for the majority of the latest two, it wasn't a good time for me. Like, yes, the two I did before were during the middle of the school year, but I was in middle school. I was in eighth grade. My eighth grade year wasn't very hard for me. The latest ones didn't last until midterms. They ended before my fall break. Like, I wasn't having a great time during the summer break when it was when it, my life was pretty much fine. I guess that's my little story time. Um, compare and contrast what I think about these. This is not hatred to anyone. This is just my experience, my thoughts on it. And I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Kenna signing off.